four, three, halfway there, still flying with key, two, almost there, and one. Where's key brought you down? Outside of work. Into space. Uh, into outer space? Mm -hmm. Oh, very nice. And just describe your surroundings there for a minute. I know what's going to happen, but... It's dark. There's clusters of stars everywhere. Oh, beautiful. The sun is behind you. And if you look out into space, you're going to see a beautiful light. I think it's a light ship, and it's coming forward towards you. And I just want you to tell me when it gets close enough uh, that you can see it and just describe it as it comes forward. It's going to stop once it gets to you. You say a light? A beautiful light. I think it's going to be a light ship with some uh, interesting characters on the inside who know you and have some things to share with you according to the questions that you have to ask. Tell me when you can see the ship coming towards you or any type of light. They normally travel that way, so I don't know how it's going to manifest. But, mm -hmm. uh, is someone coming forward? Mm -hmm. And uh, would you just describe it for me, nice and loud and clear? It's a blue avian. A blue avian? Mm -hmm. uh, beautiful. Are you inside the ship now? Yeah. Uh, very good. And if you would, just describe uh, your surroundings. There's nothing inside. The ship is not. But you said there's blood in there, no? It's not a material. It's it. It's the space. It's it's, it's like a silver, a yellow. It's not a yellow board. It's like a. It's like a. It's, 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 how can I describe it? It's shaped like a disc, but it's. It vibrates in a higher frequency. Oh, very nice. How does it feel to be inside? It feels pretty nice. I want you to do me a favor. I want you to just take long, slow, deep breaths and really raise your vibration into that space and look around you. I'm going to grab something to blow my nose here. inside this vessel? Mm -hmm. And how do, you how do you describe the avian? It has a hog's beak. Eagle eyes. Blue. Feathers. Very interesting. if you will, please. Do you get a response? Mm -hmm. 
And as you make your introduction, what's your response? Can you ask him who, 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 who are they? Yeah. Who is this that you're, you've been, that's great at you? I think you're um, 
Uh, very good. And you're traveling to Italy next year, is that correct? I mean, next month, correct? Yes, for three weeks. And are you traveling to Italy with someone else? My mother and my friend Sarah. And has this baby been born already? Yes. So the baby is already physically manifest on the planet. So what are you looking at? It's higher self there then? A higher aspect of the baby? I'm not shown what the baby looks like. Okay, I'm shown he's just talking about it. Okay. I'm shown what the setting is going to be like when this takes place. What is your connection with this child? contract uh, this was something that you decided when you came to the earth plane before physically manifesting to do mm -hmm. even though you felt like that that was something that you didn't want to have to take on how does it feel now I'm laughing because I just I just felt like I'm laughing I'm, I'm smiling because I have a feeling that you'll make an incredible dad. Mm, yeah, me too. But it's going to be a lot to take on. But you have what it takes to do that because you're determined, empathic, successful person. Can you see how you're going to grow from the experience? This baby is going to do wonderful things to planet Earth, on planet Earth, but it needs a good foundation based on love. Which is why you were chosen or why you volunteered? Yes. yes. Now think about that. That says a lot about you, does it not? Mm -hmm. How does that make you feel? Excellent. This blue avian, are you uh, are you connected with the blue avians? No. Why are the blue avians show up making this presentation to you then? Because I'm familiar with the blue avians. Say, repeat that again. I am familiar with that race. Okay. Meaning, uh, I, I have heard about them. I mean, I've also heard about the Pleiadians, the Andromedans, the Blue Avians, but they're Arcturians. But for some reason, I picked the Blue Avians because they told me to give it a lot of love and be patient. Uh, get rid of... No, give it, the baby, a lot of love and be patient. Oh, uh, very good. This mama healer came onto this planet to heal. Where that were my, my presence alone can heal people, but not in a physiological state, but in a spiritual state. Energetically. Mm -hmm. Oh, very good. So it was sort of correct. You will get the more pronounced my abilities will become. Repeat that once again, please. The older I get, uh, more abilities, more pronounced they will become. Oh, very good. And where were you before you came to the earth? Did you just do six lives in a row or, or have you been back and forth between here and other places, linearly speaking? I was also a high vibrational being that came to Earth six nights ago to help Gaia ascend. Ah, oh, very good. 
So, um, this is might, what might pass, might pass lives were necessary for me to learn what I know now. Unfortunately, whenever we are born again onto this planet, our memories erase completely, get erased. So we're gonna have to start over. However, on the subconscious level, the information is still present. Which is why you've connected with me, Speed. And so this is a good thing that we're doing then. Mm -hmm. Very good. And so you've been training. So have you and Hank done this type of work before on other in other dimensions? In other so uh, other planets that are going through the same type of process? No, but this is the first time we've met, but you come from a place. I mean, you come from a place that capacitates or trains their beings to be catalysts, like teachers. Are you in the process of becoming a catalyst teacher? Indirectly, yes. Onto the baby that I will soon have. Oh, very good. Very, very good. And where do you come from before you manifest? here on the planet when you decided to go through this process, where were you before then? If they could describe it at all, because this is one of your questions. Higher, higher, higher being, higher dimensional being. I never had a body. Ah, very good. Very, very good. Um, what, you always thought of yourself as an old soul and could you explain what old soul, what old soul means to the avian? If the avian old souls are those spirits that have been reincarnated on Earth for multiple times. There's the old souls and there's the new souls. The new souls are just beings from different parts of the galaxy or the galaxies that came to earth for the purpose of experiencing materialism and experiencing this connection and experiencing what to please the ego feels like they're here just for pleasure and that's okay He's come here for lots of reasons. It has about 7 million people, spirits coming from different parts of the universe to help Kaya ascend indirectly and at the same time to experience this connection. It's kind of ironic. So they're experiencing uh, disconnection by having the third dimensional experience and ascending back into it that's uh at the same time mm -hmm. that's a i would call that what a divine dichotomy of course oh, very good and you had some ufos that were around you in 1990 91 92 all the way up to 96 and maybe even beyond while you were in peru and one where there was, it was actually chasing another and you were with a couple of friends. Uh, had you ever had any interaction with those UFOs that you've seen? It was the blue aliens. They were chasing other entities, negative entities away. They were... They were trying to 
trying to get in the way of me and you, of me meaning the alien, and you meaning Angel, me. Because I was, my purpose to fly above you was so that I could download more information into your psyche, into your subconscious. But the negative beings were getting in the way. So, because negative beings know they don't stand a chance against me, they were just trying to, you know, trying to interfere. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's the word I was looking for. And, but yeah, it was so futile. Before, so I had to chase him away. And after that I chased him away, I downloaded all the information that I needed into your psyche. And you're talking, you're speaking about into Angel's psyche, is that correct? Yes. So, and once again, the avian come and they're downloading information into you. Uh, what about any of the group of people that were there with you? Were they receiving downloads as well? Or you just, okay. And uh, so, once again, I was going to say you're having this interaction with these avian. You have to have some type of connection if they're if they're doing that with you. Uh, you're saying you've never been the avian energy before. You don't think? Uh, no. Okay. Because the avian are helping everyone on the planet that have come here for um, yeah, missions. They are, of, they are part of the Galactic Federation. <laughs> Had you ever been abducted by any of the negative uh, extraterrestrials or anything to that effect? Or um, um, one question at a time, I'm sorry. No. I'm protected. Uh, you are protected. And uh, so, and have you ever had visitations with the extraterrestrials, the positive extraterrestrials like the avian? Uh, do they come to you and, uh, or do you go to them or do you have... Um... Yes, but when they come to visit, they don't interfere with me. As far as they don't make it, they don't... They don't want to leave any traces when they do it. So their work is impeccable. So they're um, it's not an abduction. Have they worked with your physical body or are they only working with your etheric body? With my etheric body, but they show up in my room and they is extract my etheric body and they take it up into their ship. And they do the louder the download of information. And they scan my astral body and make sure my energy are or my chakras are connected or centered, if you will. Centered its ability and balance. Mm -hmm. Very good. So basically this um, is the reason why you've had so many sleep paralysis. It's because you've waken up in the middle of these procedures and although you can't see what's going on, you just feel like you're there and there's something around yeah. you and you can't but move. The things that are around me when that it's taking place are not the aliens or they are dark beings trying to feed off my energy. You say a Garthens? No. Dark beings. Oh, dark feeding, beings, very good. Feeding off my energy. And they have attempted to do so before, have they not? They always do it. No, but whenever there is a download of information, and whenever I wake up in the middle of it, I cannot feel my body, and that makes me feel fear, panic, and 
And so the dark beings come forth and they start feeding off that. But that's natural, it's not bad. That's the only way they feed. And so now just having that information because it's you agreed to the uh, the goody teas to come through to give the downloads because it's part of your mission, is this correct? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And whereas now that you see that the sleep paralysis, the uh, seeing the ships and having that connection, does it uh, help clarify things for you in your life a little more? Yes. And so is there a way when they're actually working on you, seeing that it is something that you agreed to, uh, to not be in fear and to not have them uh, feed at all? Or is, yes and no. Is the feeding a symbiotic thing that's allowed? Yes, like humans feed on animals. But when when a dark being is feeding on your fear from something that a light being is doing, does that uh, perpetuate balance or does it perpetuate the dark? It's all balanced. I'm sorry? It is all balanced and it's all meant to be. That's how the universe works. Oh, very good. And after we, we make this shift, all of the star seeds and light entities that uh, come to do these missions, when the planet shifts, they automatically shift as well, do they not? Some will, some won't. And the ones that won't, what, what happens with them? Do they... They're still going to live on a three-dimensional perspective until they die, and they're born again. Nothing goes to waste. I was, okay. Uh, Very good, very good. And besides a healer, what else are your particular gifts? What other gifts have you brought with you on this mission that you'd like to accentuate in this moment so you can utilize better? Moving objects with your mind. What is that called? Telekinesis. Telekinesis. So that's an ability that you have that's uh, sort of dormant right now? Yes. But as the veil, uh, once the veil was pulled back, those those particular... Uh, a lot of humans have a lot of gifts, but the reason why they're not they're in a dormant state is because at their current conscious level, they might use their abilities to do wrong things. And that will interrupt the balance on planet Earth. So what? With great powers come great responsibilities. And unfortunately, most of us disconnected humans will use their gifts to please the ego and please their service to self. Mm-hmm. Yes. Therefore, they're staying dormant. Everything has a purpose. Everything has a reason. There's no such thing as good and bad. Absolutely. But the higher consciousness, the source knows why it is disconnected at this point in time. If, if right now humans have access to their psychic telepathic and telekinesis abilities, they will do more harm on the planet than any good. Whether they do good things or bad things. What about after the um, the unveiling? Of course. The vibration yes. will be high because and their intentions everyone, will be pure. Everyone will be just everyone will be connected. Everyone will know everybody's intentions. Nothing will go hidden. Everything will be known. What's done in the dark will all be lit up. Yeah. And and so as um, like you know, when they say the unveiling is coming, 
at what at a certain point then those who aren't able to hold the energetic signature after it, the unveiling will probably perish off the planet but you know of course be born again somewhere else or still manifest just no longer have a physical body would that be accurate yes and will there for those after the unveiling will it then create like two planets where those who haven't made the vibrational shift will still remain on the third dimensional planet with those yes. patterns and yes. then the new or the ones who have shifted with the vibration of the new planet those that everything is determined a bunch of souls agreed to stay on planet on the third dimension of planet earth after the unveiling but that's okay and so those who are the who uh, are their vibration uh, matches the unveilings vibrational signature will then shift and then those that don't will stay with mm -hmm. what they've created and they will just live the lives as nothing happened they will not know they won't be aware well this is something really interesting that a lot of times when they maintain that vibrational energetic vibrational signature especially at these heat transition times the civilization ends up being destroyed and have to start back over will that third dimensional earth be perpetual and that cycle just start all over again yet again no that is fair there's going to be some damage done but nothing like it happened in the past okay and then but so as far as the third dimension of earth is concerned they'll probably continue to develop technology and what about the wars will they still keep experiencing that those timelines yes not only humans that made a pact to stay on the third dimensional after the unveiling are going to stay, but also there are some dark beings that will also stay because, you know, we are the cattle. We, they need us to feed off. That's really interesting. Um, how does it make you feel to hear this information? I already know it, but to accept it. I mean, it's just pouring out of me like a book, like I'm reading a book. So do you notice, remember when I told you in the beginning, it'll take you a while and then you just let it run away with you? Uh-huh. Very good. So, um, you saw yourself at the age of 40 on the balcony and there was an alien either preaching or giving a speech 